Hello, I'm Norbert Tripp. In this series of short videos, I will present the different type of trust connection systems. Each system has its own individual advantages and therefore, depending on the application, its legitimacy. In this first video, I will start with the simplest connection system, the Spigot connector. With this connection, the length of the main tube equals the total length of the truss. A smaller tube is inserted into the main tube of the truss. Both tubes have holes, which allows them to be connected with a standard screw. Thus, in principle, it is a conventional shear connection. With this type of connection, the forces flowing into the main cord is transferred via the screw into the inner connection tube and from there back to the main cord of the next truss. Two stresses occur for the relevant truss components. The screw experiences shearing stress. The forces, however, are normally no problem even for a low quality screw but a relatively high strain is presented by bearing stress. The force distributed over the entire cross-sectional area within the main tube must ultimately be transmitted to the screw, which has a very small contact surface. Thus, the permissible load on the main cord with this type of connection is usually limited by this bearing stress and remains far below the load bearing capacity of the tube of the main cord itself. On the other hand, however, this type of connection is relatively cheap since it requires no special or complex components. Since the transmittable forces are quite low compared to other systems, this connector is usually found in small truss systems that support lighter loads, for example, shop fittings and small exhibition stands. <laughs> 